Welcome back, viewers. Today I want to talk about this tool I just got for an AC Delco. It's a 3A ratchet wrench. Part number is ARW1209. As you remember, I bought another another wrench from uh, Amazon. And uh, that was, uh, I forgot, it's just, it was just a weird name. Uh, I was very disappointed in that tool. I used it uh, one time in the caliper, and that's all it did. You really cannot put a lot of stress it, uh, to it, okay? So um, I return it. I uh, really love Amazon uh, when it comes to returning and stuff. Uh, I request a replacement, but I guess they would just uh, refund my money. I was happy about it. Uh, so I decided to get this one uh, from Amazon again. So uh, to be honest, it's a great tool. I've been using it for almost a month. I'm very happy. So I'm going to show you what's inside. Okay. Here we go. All right. This is what you get inside. You get the tool. Okay. It's a pretty solid piece, I can tell you. This thing is pretty firm. A little heavy, though, but that shows it's a heavy duty. I'm very happy to be using it for three weeks already, probably a month. So it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's like a man field in this tool. Okay, I really recommend it. Okay, it comes with a charger. Okay. Uh, and then as you can see comes one battery okay it's a 2.2.0 amps uh, and then uh, and then it comes with the manual okay so it's really easy to to charge it you just got to put it right in the charger um, press it and it start charging okay and then in the tool, very easy to just put it in the tool, and then uh, there you go. That's a little light on it. Alrighty, all there is. AC Delco ARW1209. I believe I pay a hundred and something dollars with the shipping. But I tell you guys, the filling of this ratchet is very heavy. I mean, it's 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 good though because you know you can lose bolts that are very tight I believe this one um, torch I think it torch 35 45 pounds um, I wasn't sure what was the torque uh, the torque spec in this thing uh, let's see if uh, let's see if I can see it on the uh, on the box there it is 45 foot pounds people Okay, and I can tell you with this ratchet, I'm available to do a lot of stuff that I wasn't available to do with the other tool. The only tool which is kind of Chinese feel, uh, that type of feeling that when you want to lose something, you feel it's going to break, and it definitely breaks. You know, it's just not, I mean, it's not like hard enough. It's not, you know, the power. I mean, here is the. Okay. The only thing about this one I didn't like is it, it doesn't have, uh, you know, a setting where you can press and see uh, what's the charge on it. Because at this point, sometimes, you know, it's good to have the little button there where you, uh, where you press to see how much power you have in a tool. I mean, obviously, you charge your tools like every day, live and charge. But, you know, sometimes you just work, work, work. And you don't keep in touch of that uh, 
uh, battery charge so sometimes it's good to have a setting where you can check you know um, a lot of tools has a little button here and that button you press and it you know shows you what the percentage you know of that tool of that um battery life then you know it's time to charge um but again guys if you guys want to buy a electrical ratchet um i would recommend this one um i'm not getting paid to show you this one as you can see i have my hands greasy so I'm a mechanic I use this tool in the daily base. I love it. I mean, guys, when you want to buy a tool, you know, you fill it and you have the good feeling that that tool is going to be good, all right, for the rest of the time that you have it. So every time you put the tool, you know, it's got to do what men to do, you know. It's last you and performing the job that you want to do. Now, uh, this tool here, it does, uh, quite, I'm quite impressed with it. I mean, I torque, 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 and uh, those little 9, 10 bolts, 12 bolts, broom, they go like nothing, okay? Um, uh, you know, I was gonna buy another type of tool like uh, Milwaukee, but boy, those things are so expensive, you know? The, the, I mean, the tool is like $99, $100 just for the tool. You gotta buy the charger, you gotta buy the battery, I mean, you know, we're talking crazy money here, like maybe 180, 200. You know, once in a while they have a sale there, up there, here and there. But I mean, you know, if, if you want to buy a tool right away, you just got to buy the retail price. It's hard to get those, you know, those um, uh, Fridays, you know, the Black Fridays or those specials, you know. But I mean, with this tool, I think I pay $120. Boy, I'm, I'm so happy with this tool. You know, I use it like the daily base. So I want to share this with you guys. You know, a tool like this uh, perform five, I mean, it, it deserves five stars. You know, this thing is great. I mean, I'm happy with it. You know, um, some people complain sometimes like, ah, this tool is too, too, too heavy, too this and that. But you know what? Sometimes heavy is good because heavy means it's a heavy duty. So I have dropped also this gun a couple of times. I mean, three weeks, you know, working with this tool. Uh, it's, it's great, you know, great tool, love it. So I keep the charger in the house. I take the battery, charge it overnight, put it in the, uh, on, the, uh, on the tool, go to work next morning, and I ratch the whole day with this thing, you know. Um, guys, you wanna do, you know, when you making money, it really doesn't matter. I could, probably could have get a snap on and pay crazy money for those things. And all I can tell you this is that if I can perform, if I can do a job with Chinese tool, okay, it, you know, the most important thing is that you perform the tools. I understand that it's not on, supposed to the best and this and that, the warranty, but think about it. You buy a little let's say a 10, 10 socket, 3.8, that's like $25, maybe $30. A whole set is like $200, you know? There is a lot of tools out there, really good tools, you know? Uh, Promatic Great, is, it's a great tool. I mean, uh, you got Husky, you know, professional. I mean, I even have Harbor Freight Professional. You know, I've ratched with them the whole day, all night, I mean, with this thing. I never have broke one of those sockets. It's just that uh, you got to understand that when you're using tools, uh, when you're torquing, like you say you're using this type of tool, okay, you need to buy tools that are meant for torquing, you know. Um, you're not going to go and grab a, a Stanley, uh, you know, socket and, and go and lose a, a, a tire, you know, you got to get the heavy duty, you know, heavy duty is for heavy duty, you know, you got a little bolt here and there, 1917, yeah, you can, you can get, uh, you know, the regular stuff, but again, you know, and the, as far as the metal, I guess, is all matters when it comes to metals, um, you know, it's hardened, it's, it's built better, the quality and all this stuff, but I'm telling you guys, uh, 
to perform that job, you don't have to buy a Snap-on. I'm not saying a Snap-on is bad or it's the best. I mean, you know, to be honest, myself, I could have just probably be so in-depth with all the tools I would get from Snap-on. The only, the only thing I have is a 10 socket and a 13 ratchet Snap-on. That's all I own. And I tell you, I do motors transmissions daily base and i use the regular stuff you know I, I, but you just gotta know what you, you're buying you know you, you gotta buy quality too uh like i say uh you know husky it's great you, you get the professional um you know you go to uh harbor freight you buy the professional um uh, you know uh great pramatic that's another company they're great you know uh, there's a lot of them, uh, a lot of great companies that, that sell good tools, you know. Um, but again, we all have preference. Um, again, for me to perform my job, uh, if I don't have a ratchet made by Snap-on, it's not going to perform in my job, you know, or I'm not going to be able to do that type of job. You know, it's it just the, the, the fact is that, um, sometimes when we're dealing with tools, uh, you know, tools are, it's always good to just test them out to see how good they are. And, you know, companies are becoming very strict now in qualities, you know, but there is companies that are just crap, you know, it's stuff you'll find in 99 cents, you know, stuff like that I never would buy. But um, th there is a lot of companies, uh, you know, that... Uh, makes great great tools you know sonics you know uh you know it's, it's a lot of them it's a lot of them uh matt could make good tools um you know stanley actually stanley makes a company i mean it makes uh the company makes a good tools there is a professional um you know area there where you can just buy professional stanley and i'm telling you i perform jobs with stanley with uh, Harbor Freight, Marco, you know, any tool that I see how it's made, you can just look at the uh, ratchet and you look how good it's built, you know. Same thing with the socket, same thing with the ratchet. Um, you know, myself, I own so many ratchets made by Harbor Freight. I love them. They're fine teeth, you know. Those things are great to work with it, you know. So again, guys, um, my video, uh, you know, made him here just to, uh, you know, talk about tools and stuff like that. But, uh, mainly we'll talk about, you know, this nice ratchet here. I love it. Daily base, I use it. If you guys thinking about getting a inexpensive, good quality, you can't go wrong with that one. Okay. And again, I'm not getting paid by AC Delco or anybody else here. Like I say, this is just a review that I want to talk about. All right, guys. God bless you. Thank you for watching.